Hi everyone, my name is Sabina Bruce and I'm a systems engineer focused on the MCU portfolio here at NXP. Welcome to this tutorial of the LPC 5500 MCU series based on the ARM Cortex M33 core. This video will focus on the Trust Zone features for this LPC 5500 MCU series. Trust Zone is a technology now available in the Cortex M33 based MCUs and the LPC 5500 MCU series. It provides the means to implement separation and access control to isolate trusted software and resources to reduce the attack on critical components. This trusted firmware is ideal to store and run critical security services. This modules include hardware assist, cryptographic accelerators, random number generators, and secure storage. It is important to mention that this family implements a Core Zero as a Cortex M33 with full execution environment with Trust Zone support enabled, while the second one does not. Let's run one of the Trust Zone examples, the secure GPIO. You require to have the latest MCU Expresso IDE and the SDK for the LPC 55S69. Open your MCU Expresso IDE and click on Import SDK Examples. Select the LPC Expresso 55S69 board and click on Next to see all available example projects. Every Trust Zone based application consists of two independent parts, the secure part and the non-secure part. Locate the Trust Zone examples and select the secure GPIO S. Notice that when you select this project, it will automatically select the non-secure project, secure GPIO NS. And finally click on finish. The secure projects always contain Trust Zone configuration and it is executed after the device reset. The secure project usually ends by jump to non-secure applications. The secure GPIO example project demonstrates how to prevent reading access to the secure GPIO module. First, you need to compile the secured project, select the secure GPIO S project and press the hammer to compile it. Then you can proceed to compile the non-secured project, select the secure GPIO and S and press the hammer. Connect your board using the debug link port. Select the non-secure project and press blue bug icon to download the application into the board. Stop the debugger and disconnect your board. Now, select the secure project and press the blue bug icon to download the application into the board. And stop the debugger. This demo will per permanently read the GPIO status of the S1 and S2 switches. If S1 is pressed, the logical zero is red. The green LED is turned on in secure world and blue LED is turned on from the normal world. So both blue and green LEDs are controlled by the S1 button. If S2 button is pressed, the GPIO mask featured is activated. In this case, the blue LED starts to light regardless of the S1 button state. Because normal GPIO cannot read state of S1 button, only the logic zero is red. The green LED can still be controlled by S1 button. For further reference, please see the dedicated application note for the LPC55S69 security solutions for IoT.